So we talk about funny stories over the years uh, as far as racing goes and everything. And I, I have to say that one of my funniest that I can actually tell is back when I was racing alcohol dragster, we were at the Snowbird Nationals back, uh, this is back in the 90s. And um, we were just having a blast. And that was always a race that you went to, down to it. Really no pressure. It was more of just going out and having some fun. And so we go down there and... Um, so we're going up for first round and we're having a difficult time because when we warmed up the car, some sort of spark got into the puke can, blew up the puke can. They're calling us to, you know, to get to the, to, to the you know, starting line and all this stuff. And as you know, Bradenton, it's really narrow, one lane to get there. There's cars everywhere. And so we're having a difficult time. So I tell a friend of mine who asked, hey, can I come to the race and come hang out with you guys? And I said, yeah, he didn't you know, know a whole lot about racing, but it was, you know, so he asked to come down. So I said, yeah, do me a favor, hurry up, man. We're just, go get the minivan we rented and go turn it around and bring it down here so we can hook up and, and head to the starting line. And he go does that. We, we're, we're patching this puke can together, trying to figure it, figure it out, get the thing on the ground, get all the panels on. And we roll it out in the street. We're like 10, 15 minutes go by and they're yelling for us. and there's nothing going on and finally this guy comes walking down there he goes we got a problem and i'm like what do you mean i have to get to the starting line he says no no we have a problem so i walk over to this he proceeded to turn this minivan around like it says in bradenton where there's a lot of you know dirt and and instead of when he just kind of sunk into the mud a little bit and just calling it good or calling us over there no he decided to do his best to go four-wheeling so while he is so worried about getting back to us so he just keeps flooring this van and not realizing that right behind him was a nitro harley that was literally consuming every bit of mud that this van could throw off of a tire okay so I get up there, I'm not looking at the van. I'm looking at the fact, which he did not notice, that this big biker dude, okay, had this nitro, beautiful nitro Harley, that was supposed to be going to the starting line too, was now completely covered in mud, completely. And um, so that was probably, if I ever had to tiptoe through a conversation, meaning had to get to the starting line, so did he. His bike was covered in mud. Our van was stuck in the mud and couldn't get to the starting line. Um, I would say that was probably one of the most interesting 15 minutes of my life of how to get to the starting line while not getting my ass kicked.